Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist based in Toronto, Canada. Art Snack is the time when we take a short break from our hectic work schedule to talk about art. Now, joining me today is David Kabuka, and guess where he is? He is joining us all the way from Uganda. So, David, Please, uh, welcome and tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello, Jenny. How are you doing? It's a pleasure to talk, to talk and see you again. Yes, um, truly, I'm in Uganda. The, uh, the capital is Kampala in East Africa. So, David, tell us a bit about your art practice. How did you get started and what sort of art do you do? Uh, I mean, I started when I was very young, and uh, when I came to Toronto, of course, I continued at Ontario College of Art, but I came with something which was a little different, like the modern batik technique, and I'm going to show you some of my work that I've done in the modern batik technique. Technique. Um, let me start with this piece here. But before, um, before we look at it, tell us what is modern batik technique? Today I am wearing a tie-dye outfit from Trinidad and Tobago. That's uh, my country oh. of birth. But I know it's not the same as batik. What is uh, modern batik technique? Actually, it's not very far from the tie and dye you're wearing. The only okay. thing is that here, here we use wax and dyes. In tie and dye, there is no wax. Mostly it is just uh, the tying of the colors, I mean, of the fabric. But here we use um, wax dyes on fabric. But it's not the traditional batik that is from Indonesia. This is a component that my late brother and I kind of came up with. So by the time I came to Toronto or Canada, I already had this amazing uh, technique. I'm just showing you one of the pieces. And what's uh, you, what is see. this one called? This is called a mask. It's an African mask, and you can see the technique it's in. It's on fabric, and it's done in the toning technique. Um, in modern batiking, I have about, let's say, uh, five or four different techniques. That's what I actually like even teach in the beginners, intermediate, advanced, and masters. Okay. Interesting. Let's see another piece, please. What is that one behind you? This piece on oh, the wall. This, um, Oh yeah, this is a face of a lady, which I did again in the fragmentation and toning uh, te technique. Uh, toning technique is a, another technique that goes into beginners, intermediate, advanced and masters. But there is also fragmentation, which is another technique within the toning. Uh, for example, if I show you the portraits, if we're doing portraits, we're looking at something like this. Spectacular. Yeah, yeah, this I did in, this I did in St. Kitts and Nevis way back when I went to teach classes there. Oh, so okay. you could imagine. And I wanted to do my raster, my raster dreadlock lady. Okay, you could wonderful. See <laughs> the dreadlock she has. And there is this one as well. This is another toning technique and fragmentation. Okay. So you can see what you can achieve in this technique. It's yeah. not a painting. But it looks like a painting, it but I'm using like one and dye, yeah, in this um, thing, uh, technique. And if you look at this one as well, this is another uh, technique you could, uh, piece you could see with a fragmentation in the background. So you use the wax to create? Um, oh yeah, I use wax because if there is no wax, it's not a batik. Because anybody can get acrylic and apply it, apply it on the fabric. Oh, okay. But also in this technique, I do patterns, which mean yeah. textile. Oh. Now I'm teaching a lot. Of, I'm teaching a lot of textile, and um, so people want to do now digital printing and everything. Yes. You need to do this template. This is a template which you could do a repeat pattern out of it. Oh. And um, these are the kind of things I would like to um, teach. Sometimes the seniors I was teaching and the youth in Toronto. Uh, we can get into something like a repeat pattern, like masks. Now you could see they're done in where you could do a repeat pattern out of it. Okay, so that is for the textile industry, more or less. If... Exactly, but well, you could go into fine art and you could go into textile yes. because I've sold a lot. Of, I've sold a lot of my work as batiks, 
but people didn't know it was batiks that named it mixed media but actually what they were buying was uh, but the modern batik technique okay and how can people find out about your work your courses and um, buying some of your your work where will where can well, they I mean well, thanks to the technology today, I don't have to be in Toronto. I mean, everything now after COVID has gone online. So I have uh, tutorial classes now online where people can log on through my website at www. Uh, I mean, modern boutique at workshops.com. And um, again, modern boutique. Modern boutique at workshops.com. Art workshops. And and they, art workshops. And, and, mm -hmm. Yes. And then they can also see some of my uh, paintings online, which are on Zimbe Collection Interiors.com. Okay. So um, we're going to put down the websites in the, um, in the video here so everyone can uh, get access to your work shops and then also view your art online so there we have yeah, can, the links yeah. on the uh, yeah. video. yes there are those links once they go to my website the links will take them there and they can see the videos the introduction the tutorials which are there but also there is a book i just released on amazon.com it's an ebook so it makes it very easy for anybody around the world to download it it's 9.99 um dollars it's just only 9.99 dollars so it's not ten dollars 9.99 dollars right. so it, it's acceptable to people globally now and um that's the best way now to do it so because people we don't have to deal with shipping and all this in this right, COVID right. field so here's the link yeah. in um the video you can get access to david's uh, ebook and learn all about modern batik techniques. Well, thank you so much, David. It was wonderful speaking with you today. And I hope everyone will check out your work online and certainly subscribe to one of the virtual workshops because it sounds like an amazing opportunity and always um, accessible to people around the world too. It's, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much, Jenny. And um, definitely we should hook up more often. <laughs> yes, well, thanks for joining us today. And viewers, please join me tomorrow for another Art Snack. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Okay, I hope to see you all again tomorrow when we have another surprise guest. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye.